Hi. Okay. So, um, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, um, I did a, a little brief, uh, video and I talked a little bit about just the concept of, of well-being and wellness as a state within you instead of, um, something that's external that you have to kind of go seeking for. Um, and kind of why that was, I thought, a really valuable thing to kind of consider and, 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 and maybe integrate into your way of being or our way of being. Um, and so I had left that video saying, I'm going to come back and kind of talk about other concepts or ideas that I find to be really beneficial um, additions to the conversation when we're trying to talk about how to find wellness, how to take care of ourselves, how to help ourselves when we're struggling. So... Um, you can take these different ideas, kick them around, figure out which ones kind of resonate with you and which ones don't, and just integrate them in a way that feels meaningful. There's no one way to do this, right? So, so anyway, the concept that I kind of wanted to bring to the to the conversation today is um, the notion of growth mindset. So, growth mindset is sort of um, uh, interrelated with neuroplasticity something else I'll probably talk about next. Um, and really what it's trying to convey is the notion that we are all always learning and growing and changing and that anything that we want to do or accomplish, any goal that we set for ourselves is really just a matter of time, attention, and a repeated, a repeated devoted attention and effort. So a lot of people, especially kind of, I guess my generation and, and older, um, had like what we would call a fixed mindset. So that notion that I just am how I am, this is how I'm made, this is how I'm born, you know, I'm this way because of certain experiences and that's just how I am now. Um, so that's called a fixed mindset. We can't be changed. But that, that's not accurate. We know this. Um, we know this through neuroscience and behavioral science and just simple observation. People change over time. And you actually can influence the direction that you want to point yourself in the direction that you want to change. Part of that is believing that it's possible and then devoting time and attention and energy on a regular basis, repeatedly, to making decisions, choices, changes, fostering mindsets and thought patterns that guide you in the direction you've chosen for yourself. That's growth mindset. That's it. It's that simple. And yet, if, if you don't kind of believe in it, if you believe that change is impossible, it's very limiting, right? So it's a simple concept, but until you've really sat with it, considered it, and maybe try to pull it into your way of being day to day, it doesn't really give you much. So now there it is, it's on the table. This is a great chance to think about it, ask yourself, and here's my favorite example. If you can't see in your own life right now where growth mindset or that process of learning has happened, think about the fact that none of us were born walking, talking, or feeding ourselves with a spoon or riding bikes, none of those things. But most of those things for most of us now come quite naturally. We don't even necessarily really think about it. It's very automatic. It feels just the way something that we've been doing our whole life. And yet, not only did we have to learn it, but we stumbled, fumbled, made mistakes, fell down, did it poorly for a long time in the learning process. So if we can do that, we can do anything. <laughs>